Chemical formula. Antimony 3 sulfide. Common names. Antimony sulfide. Stibnite. When found in its natural mineral form. Appearance. Antimony trisulfide naturally occurs as a grayish black crystalline mineral called stibnite. Stibnite has a metallic luster and is often found in a long, needle like crystal structure. Occurrence. Stibnite is the most common ore of antimony, and it is typically found in hydrothermal veins alongside other minerals. It has been historically used as a source of antimony, which has various industrial applications. Traditional uses. Stibnite has been used historically in various cultures for medicinal and cosmetic purposes. It was also used in ancient times as a cosmetic eyeliner called coal. Homeopathic uses. Antimonium crudum. For, for homeopathic employment, the mental symptoms and those of the gastric sphere determine its choice. Excessive irritability and fretfulness, thickly coated white tongue are true guiding symptoms to many forms of disease calling for this remedy. All the conditions are aggravated by heat and cold bathing, cannot bear heat of sun, tendency to grow fat, or an absence of pain where it could be expected is noticeable. Gout with gastric symptoms, much concerned about his fate, cross and contradictive. Whatever is done fails to give satisfaction. Sulky, does not wish to speak, peevish, vexed without cause, child cannot bear to be touched or looked at, angry at every little attention, sentimental mood, aching, worse in vertex, on ascending, from basing, disordered stomach, especially from eating candy or drinking acid wines, suppressed eruptions, heaviness in forehead with vertigo, nausea and nosebleed, headache with great loss of hair, dull, sunken red itch inflamed, agglutinated, cancerous raw and fissured, chronic blepharitis, Pustules on cornea and mouth. lids. Cracks in corners of mouth. Dry lips. Saltish saliva. Much slimy mucus. Gums detach from teeth. Bleed easily. Toothache in hollow teeth. Rawness of palate, with expectoration of much mucus. Canker sores. Pappy taste. No thirst. Subacute eczema about mouth. Throat. Much thick yellowish mucus from posterior nares. Hawking in open air. Laryngitis. Rough voice from overuse. Stomach. Loss of appetite. Desire for acids, pickles. Thirst in evening and night. Erectation tasting of the ingesta. Heartburn, nausea, vomiting. After nursing, the child vomits its milk in curds and refuses to nurse afterwards and is very cross. Gastric and intestinal complaints from bread and pastry, acids, sour wine, cold bathing, overheating, hot weather, constant belching, gouty metastasis to stomach and bowels, Swedish water brash, bloating after eating, stool, anal itching, diarrhea alternates with constipation, especially in old people, diarrhea after acids, sour wine, baths, overeating, slimy, flatulent stools, mucus piles, continued oozing of mucus, hard lumps mixed with watery discharge, catarrhal proctitis, stools composed entirely of mucus, male, eruption on scrotum and about genitals, impotence, atrophy of penis and testicles, female, excited, parts itch, before menses, toothache, menses too early and profuse, menses suppressed from cold bathing, with feeling of pressure in pelvis and tenderness in ovarian region, leucorrhea watery, acrid, lumpy, respiratory, cough worse coming into warm room, with burning sensation in chest, itching of chest, oppression, loss of voice from becoming overheated, voice harsh and badly pitched, back, itching and pain of neck and back, extremities, twitching of muscles, jerks in arms, arthritic pain in fingers, nails brittle, grow out of shape, horny warts on hands and soles, weakness and shaking of hands in writing followed by offensive flatulence, feet very tender, covered with large horny places, inflamed corns, pain in heels, 
skin, eczema with gastric derangements, pimples, vesicles, and pustules. Sensitive to cold bathing. Thick, hard, honey-colored scabs. Urticaria. Measle-like eruption. Itching when warm in bed. Dry skin. Warts. Scaly, pustular eruption with burning and itching. Worse at night. Sleep. Continual drowsiness in old people. Fever. Chilly even in warm room. Intermittent with disgust, nausea, vomiting, irritations, coated tongue, diarrhea. Hot sweat. Modalities. Worse, in evening, from heat, acids, wine, water, and washing. Wet poultices. Better, in open air, during rest. Moist warmth.